Hello, and welcome to episode one of Jade Empire. One of the, I'll say, lesser-known titles of BioWare, which is a pretty phenomenal company. I'm sure many of you are aware of what they do. Uh, but this one, to me, is a little unique, because I feel like whenever they want to tell a story about somebody who is a martial artist, typically they will tell that story via a fighting game, which this is not. Uh, it does have fighting in it. In fact, quite a bit of fighting is included in it. Um, but it is primarily an RPG. It has level up elements. Uh, you have to level your abilities. Um, there's stuff you can equip. I mean, it, like I said, primarily it has most of the features of an RPG. Uh, you can see we've got quite a few avatars here. I'm going to go with Furious Ming, and we're going to customize. Uh, so here you get a prime example of what I'm talking about. It has a health, a chi, and a focus meter. Um, now you could go all of one uh, and kind of neglect the other ones. There's nothing really wrong with that. Me, I prefer a more balanced approach because I like to vary up what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to do that with a little bit silted towards focus. We'll get into why a little bit later. So we'll accept that. Here we have a number of uh, choices as to what style we start with. You have to do Heavenly Wave. Can't unselect that one. Thousand Cuts is kind of like the super quick um, style that doesn't do a lot of damage. Leaping Tiger is quicker but doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, Legendary Strike is kind of like the middle ground, and White Demon is the super slow, does a lot of damage style. Uh, we're going to go with Leaping Tiger. Um, that's my preferred one. And then for the name, I guess we shouldn't even really beat around, right? Let's, uh, let's just do... Oh, there we go. Yep, my name. Fantastic. So that's the character that we've got rolling there. Um, now, similar to the Vampire series, I'm going to be voicing the main character. Um, and then any of the other lines that any of the lines that are not voiced, I will read out to you. Although this is, I mean, most of the, the lines are voiced in this game. Um, quite nice. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. One more match, then? Happily. I feel that I learn something every time I face you. Even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. Alright, show me your best. Let us begin. Now, you'll see that marker there that says Unknown Style. This is a good time to mention that I do have one mod installed. I have uh, Jade Empire in Style, it's called. And what that mod does is it, it allows you to uh, learn styles a different way. In the normal game, you learn styles just by finding them in shops, purchasing them. Um, but it's, it's really weird because like any merchant can have one, so it's not even like a, uh, you know, you're going to an instructor, a school for a style. You can just learn them from any random NPC. I think that's weird. So how it works in this mod is you, you can learn the style by fighting somebody that has it. And so in this case, uh, he has a style that I've never seen before. So I would be able to buy it from him, but... You have to do well in combat to do it. And, of course, since this is a tutorial battle, I had to get hit. It's impossible to do well in this one. So I won't be learning this style. But that's okay. Honestly, I'm not super interested in the style that he offers. Style points are what you use to level up your abilities. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. Thank you for the bout. You are gracious as always. 
I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Where is Master Lee again? Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. Chapter 1 Wherein a Master Foretells of Doom, a Rifle Challenges for Station, and the Past Haunts the Present. Your training nears its completion in the idyllic setting of Two Rivers. Master Lee promises that soon you will know more about how you came here and where your future will lead. All the while, strange tales begin to spread of ghosts that will not rest and shadowy assassins who heed no law. All right. And those two are going to run in there and they're going to use the field for practicing. Now, of course, this is this is our little our little village, if you will. Typical. This guy over here, this is related to that mod I was talking about. Greetings, there. <clears throat> Down here. You can talk? You are a most astute observer. But you're a monkey! No, I'm a textured polygon that is animated by an algorithm. I have no idea what you just said. What I mean is, if you ever feel the need to drop out of character, talk to us animals. Right. So, is there anything I can do for you today? Like I said, this is related to that mod that I have installed. It lets you change your appearance. You can learn a new style from the monkey. You can get rid of styles you don't want. Um, you can change your chances to get style points. You can buy items. Um, but this is, it's not really a cheat because you do have to pay for it. But it's not the way that the mod intends you to do any of the stuff uh, that you're needing to do. So we're just going to not mess with it. But you do have to have that first encounter. The game kind of forces it on you. Uh, throughout the world, there are, there are these little scroll stands that uh, show you off things. And they help you to uh, get a sense of the world and also uh, give you a little bit of experience. Harmonic Combinations. To fight without thought is suicide. The path to victory is laid out one step at a time, each ahead of your opponents. Sagacious Tien. Harmonic combinations demand the use of two styles in rapid succession. The first must be of the class called Support, the second from the class known as Martial. Timing is the key. Begin with a focused disabling effect and follow quickly with a powerful barehanded blow. The two actions working in concert will create a harmonic channel in your chi and wreak havoc upon your foe. You must be swift, as the window to create the harmony is limited. Disable your foe. Close swiftly as you change style and strike with all available force. Let nothing stand in your way, but beware. Opponents of great strength may possess the training to resist this technique. Thought will guide you to victory. Harmonic combinations will ensure the journey is swift. So it's kind of like telling you how the game works a little bit, while also providing you with a little bit of insight to the world. Auspicious Portents Understanding the stars and the universe is a very important goal. By examining the universe, we can interpret and predict things to come. The sky is where the great dragon was said to dwell, and in his illustrious home we can see the signs of his effects on creation. Of the observable phenomena, three major ones are the most auspicious. Comets, the flames of the heavens passing across the sky, eclipses, during which the power of the gods blocks the sun for brief periods, and falling stars, marking the descent of one of the celestial bureaucracy to the Earth. The Old Tongue, Volume 1 Tho Fan, or the Old Tongue, was the native language of one of many kingdoms struggling for supremacy before the Empire was unified 
by Sagacious Tien, our first emperor. As the wars raged, constant shifts in territorial leadership spread the use of the Old Tongue. By the time Sagacious Tien formed the empire, the Old Tongue was so widely spread that it became a second official language of the Jade Empire. So you can see, you know, kind of a warring nations sort of background uh, going into this. And there's a bunch of people that we can talk to. Now this guy over here, this is Smiling Mountain. This is the person that he referred me to earlier, so we'll chat with him. Hmm. I thought Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. But it's good to see you. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. Are there students available to spar with? There are a few, but not enough for me to set up some of the more challenging matches that I'm sure you would prefer. There will be more students available later in the day when many of their exercises have concluded. Hmm, perhaps another time. Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. So you can see that later in the day we can come back to him and get ourselves some more training. That's the guy I was sparring with, and we could spar with those two, but honestly the first thing that we need to do is have this encounter over here. Grab out this gem. Read this. The Long Drought. The Long Drought stands as one of the worst periods in the Jade Empire's recent history. Ten years of scorching heat and a little rainfall took their toll on even the prodigious reserves of the Empire's granaries. The sages predicted at least three more devastatingly dry years, while those in the Ministry of Harmony watched the death toll mount into the hundreds of thousands. Then Emperor Sun Hai declared that the drought was over, and somehow it was. Through the Emperor's divine will, green returned to our parched land, and stability was restored. Fantastic. So let's chat with this guy that gave us that surly line earlier. Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. You disrespect our master by calling him that. What? The old man? That's what he is. Young men don't get mired in foolish beliefs like the belief that your training is more important than everyone else's. If anything, you disrespect this school by monopolizing so much of the master's attention. What did I do to earn this belligerence? You don't want my answer to that question. Go talk to one of your sandal-licking friends and let them tell you I'm jealous. Try Lynn. She'll say anything to please you just to see your simpering little smile. Pathetic. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. What a guy. Ah, there you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jingu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Mm, perhaps I will train others, as you have trained me. Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills, and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that, as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. I'm sure it was for a good reason, Master. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. 
The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. What would you have me do, Master? The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the Weapon Master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. I will do as you ask. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. Alright. So we have our mission, but that is where we are going to end this episode. Next time, we'll face off with some bandits, meet one of our boon companions, and also learn a little bit more of our destiny. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new because there is much more of this to come. I'll see you in the next episode.